Hello and welcome to the session. I am Asha and I am going to help you with the following question which says In triangle ABC and triangle DEF, AB is equal to DE, AB is parallel to DE, BC is equal to EF and BC is parallel to EF. Vertices A, B and C are joined to vertices D, E, F respectively. We have to show the following six parts. So here we are given that in triangle ABC and triangle DEF, AB is equal to DE, AB is parallel to DE, BC is equal to EF and BC is parallel to EF and vertices A, B and C are joined to vertices D, E and F respectively. And first we have to prove is that quadrilateral A, B, E, D is a parallelogram. Let us now start with the proof. Now in quadrilateral A, B, E, D A, B is equal to E, D and A, B is parallel to E, D. These are given to us. Therefore, quadrilateral A, B, E, D is a parallelogram. Since a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if a pair of opposite sides is equal and parallel. And here in this figure AB is equal to DE and AB is parallel to DE also. So this is the pair in this quadrilateral which is equal and parallel also. Therefore, it is a parallelogram. So this completes the first part. And now proceeding on to the second part where we have to prove that quadrilateral B, E, F, C is a parallelogram. Now again here, B, C is equal to E, F and also B, C is parallel to E, F. So this implies B, E, F, C is a parallelogram. Again since in a quadrilateral if a pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel then it is a parallelogram therefore this is also a parallelogram. So this completes the second part. Now proceeding on to the third part where we have to prove that AD is parallel to CF and AD is equal to CF. Now since A, B, ED is a parallelogram by part 1 
This implies AD is equal to BE and AD is parallel to BE since in a parallelogram both the pairs of opposite sides are equal and parallel. Similarly, since BE FC is a parallelogram, this implies that BE is equal to CF and BE is parallel to CF. Since in a parallelogram, both the pairs of opposite sides are equal and parallel. So, from these two, we can say that AD is equal to CF and AD is parallel to CF. Since, if two lines are equal to the same line, then they are equal to each other. And if two lines are parallel to the same line, they are parallel to each other. So this proves the third part. And now proceeding on to the fourth part, where we have to prove that quadrilateral ACFD is a parallelogram. Now in this quadrilateral, we have AD is equal to CF and AD parallel to CF. Since by part 3, so this implies Quadrilateral ACFD is a parallelogram. Since in a quadrilateral, if a pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel, then it is a parallelogram. So this completes the fourth part. And now proceeding on to the fifth part, where we have to prove that AC is equal to DF. Now since in part 4 we have proved that ACFD is a parallelogram so this implies that AC is equal to FD. Since opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. So this completes the fifth part. And now proceeding on to the last part. Which is to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Now in these two triangles. AB is equal to DE. This is given. BC is equal to EF. This is also given. And AC is equal to FD. This we have proved in part 5. So by SSS congruence condition, we can say that triangle 
ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. So this completes the session. Take care and bye for now.